I'm all ready to go. No, Em. Not yet. I told you I would let you know when it was time. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just want to go now. Well, all great things come with patience, right? Now hush up and go play. I will let you know when it's time. Go on. Go make something of this day. <sighs> Fine, but please make it go fast. You look so pretty, like a little princess. But something's missing. Aha! Every princess needs her tiara. Tiara, where would I be? Hey! Found you! You know, if the place is closed, you're just gonna have to go to your audition tomorrow in your underwear. Please be too late. I would love to see that. Wait, I just pictured it and I changed my mind. Ew. Bryce, grow up. I know plenty of girls who would love to see that. And Mama, I got this. I told you I would, didn't I? I just don't understand why you wait until the very last second to do everything. You were literally always late. Mama, don't worry. I got this. Okay. I'm so glad I only had one of him. <laughs> wait, 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 Wanda, Wanda, please, just take this last one before you go. Are you ever gonna get here on time? Once, just once would be nice. Oh, come on, Wanda, where's the fun in that? Tell you what, if you take this, I'll split whatever's in the pockets with you. Deal? Ah, oh, come on. Bring it in and let's see what we got this time. Oh wow, you've really outdone yourself. Two pay stubs for parking, a receipt for the method actor inside of me, with your signature, and $4.37. I'm rich. Hey, that receipt could be worth a lot of money someday. I heard a guy sold George Clooney's signature on a napkin for like a million dollars. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, 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 keep the change. I'll take the signature, Mr. Kelly. I'll have these for you in the morning. Oh, and I'm serious about that signature thing, by the way. I'd hold on to that if I were you. I'll frame it. Sorry, I didn't mean to stare or anything, but and you look familiar. Have we met? Well, I don't know, mister. I kind of can't see you through this aisle. Oh, right. Uh... Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't think we've met before. I'm, I'm Briley. And you are? Oh, I'm, I'm Cody. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> nice to meet you, Cody. Um, I hope I see you around. Yeah. Uh, 
Hey, Bradley. Um, there's like a bunch of us hanging out at the pool later, if you wanna come. I mean, you totally don't have to, because I may not even go, but, but like if I do, you know, it, it'd be cool to see you there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I'll go. Awesome. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll see you then. Uh, Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I just met my future wife. Ooh, Cody met a girl. And did you actually talk to her? Yes, I talked to her. In fact, I invited her to a pool party later. You didn't tell me about a pool party. I want to go to a pool party too. Can I go with, please? Mom, I, I didn't tell you about a pool party because well, there isn't one. I panicked, it was the first thing I could think of. But I have a few hours, I'm pretty sure I can make it happen. And Bryce, no, I can't take my little sister on a date with me. That's not cool. Doesn't sound like a date to me. Shut it. Okay, Mom, I'll be back in a couple hours. I have a party to plan. Okay, don't stay out too late. And Cody, don't propose on the first date. Take a towel, and don't leave your flip-flops at the pool, and don't leave your towel at the pool, and don't leave your phone at the pool. You do have your phone, right? Yeah, right here. Okay, bye, Mom. Cody, you think you're forgetting anything else? Mom, what, what else could I possibly be forgetting? Swim trunks. Jesse, Jesse, please. You gotta come to my pool party later. Dude, I'm allergic to pool water. You know this. Please, come. I'm sorry, man. It's open mic at karaoke tonight, and my mom said it could be good exposure. Fine. Felix! Oh, hey, Cody. Dude, come to my pool party later. Oh, uh, I've study and... Come on! Who can believe not one person wanted to come to a pool party? And who gets discovered at freaking clubhouse karaoke? Unbelievable. Some pool party. Yeah, well, you know me. Love a great party. There never really was a party, was there? Not exactly. I did try to plan one, though. <laughs> Apparently, attending a last-minute pool party designed to you know, impress a girl for me wasn't high on everybody's Tuesday night plans. I see. So you were trying to impress me? <laughs> well, I think you get an A for effort. I mean, this place is really popping. <laughs> so are we gonna do this or what? <laughs> How about a walk? Yeah, walk is good. <laughs> so what's your thing? Like, why are you out here? I mean, everybody here has a thing. Well, um, I'm an actor, like most people out here. I moved here four years ago with my mom and my little sister. And we were only supposed to be here for a few months, but then we just kind of stayed. I picked up a few parts here and there, and we didn't really have anywhere else to go, so this is home. Wow, four years, that's crazy. Have you been in anything I've seen? <laughs> uh, well, you may recognize me as the young Mr. Metzel from the very popular Mr. Metzel Pretzel commercial franchise. I knew that was you! You did so good! <laughs> There's no pretzel like Mr. Matt's pretzel. We'll bet our spetzel on it. <laughs> okay, but what is actually a spetzel? Because I've always wanted to know. Yeah, you don't. You don't want to know. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What's your What's your story? I mean, I'm sure you're an actress. You have the looks for it. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm an actress. Mm -hmm. That's actually why I was here this week. I was supposed to be doing a chemistry read for this musical show, but they ended up hiring the lead's actual win. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love acting, but I just really love singing. That's why I was so excited about the show, because I would be able to do both my passions at once. But you cannot compete with somebody's real life win. <laughs> well, I would love to hear you sing something. Maybe you will. Wait, come on. Just stand there, come on. You know the beach is only like 20 minutes away, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. But I was only here for a few days, and my dad hates the beach. Mm. Plus we're staying with friends, and so I don't really have a way to get around. And I'm leaving to go back home to New York tomorrow. Tomorrow? 
<laughs> you know when you'll be back? Unfortunately, no. My parents aren't super supportive of the whole acting thing, and since this trip turned out to be nothing, I don't think they're gonna be too excited to get on a plane back to LA anytime soon. Yeah. I mean, it's hard enough for them to take off work, and then for me not even to be able to audition. I just don't see the point in any of it. But acting, is that your only passion, or is there something else hiding in there? <laughs> no, not really. I mean, I like, I like to write, but it's not, you know, it's just for me to get my thoughts out, you know? I mean, I haven't even shown my mom or my sister. But you'd show me. No, especially not you, that's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, how about this? You promise to write to me while I'm gone, and I will sing a song for you when I get back. You mean like letters? Yeah, I love letters. They're so romantic. <laughs> okay. Okay, but I think it's only fair that you have to sing me a song right now. Right now? Mm -hmm. Wow, you are putting me on the spot. Okay. So. Go, 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 go. Wow. Looks like you had a nice time. How was the pool party? Mom, it's official. I'm gonna marry that girl. That's nice, sweetie. I'm happy for you. Where is your towel? Okay, Dad, I'm coming. So good to see you. Gosh, I almost didn't recognize you without the bangs. How are you? How was the flight? Well, I'm good. I'm better now. I mean, I swear they make the seats on the plane smaller and smaller. Yeah, because you take up so much room. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> all right, mister. You've got me all to yourself this week. Where to? You'll see. <gasps> <laughs> Nice car. Is it new? Uh-huh. One of those I'm in a big movie first. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we have so much to catch up on. Like how you got that big movie. I mean, letters can only tell so much. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty crazy. My agent said it's my big break or whatever. <laughs> I mean, I'm already done filming it and everything, but it's still so surreal, you know? <laughs> you're telling me. I mean, your face is all over New York. I can't go get a sandwich without seeing your billboards everywhere. Okay, so tell me everything. Was everybody nice? Was it everything you hoped it would be? And I mean, that girl that was supposed to be your love interest, was she sweet? Uh, let's see. 
yes, everyone was super nice. But it was weird. Like, they were overly nice, you know? Like, they treated me differently because I was a talent or whatever. I didn't like that. I mean, I know that I'm an amazingly talented actor and devilishly handsome. But I could pour my own cup of coffee, you know? <laughs> and, um, yeah, it was everything that I hoped for. And more, actually. I felt more at home there than I have anywhere in, like, a really long time. Yeah, the girl was nice, I guess. Right here. The beach, Cody? Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> oh, we're at the beach! Cody, oh my gosh, you just made me the happiest girl in the whole world! <gasps> Ready? Racing. I mean, I wish I could just capture this moment and live in it forever. I mean, I'd be completely content to just be like this always, you know? Yeah, I could do that. Oh my gosh, Cody! <laughs> hey, a deal's a deal. I wrote you the letters. You gotta hold up your end of the bargain. Can't believe you. Not much, but uh, here you go. So you're the future wife we keep hearing so much about. He hasn't shut up about you for 10 months. That's not what, what? Well, I, I would hope so. I mean, it would be awkward if it was another girl, huh? I'm Briley. You must be Bryce? That's me. We both have B names. I like that. And Cody's right. You do have beautiful eyes. Bryce? <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice to have you with us this week, dear. And Cody does speak very highly of you. Mom! It's okay, I think it's sweet. Okay, let's get you to where you're sleeping. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> After you. Wait, is this your room? But where are you gonna sleep? Oh, don't you worry. Uh, you haven't had a chance to feel it yet, but we have probably the comfiest couch known to man, so. <laughs> Is that another one of those I'm in a big movie perks? No, actually, yard sale. <laughs> yeah, I think it's so comfy because the old lady we bought it from has had it since she was born. So they just don't make them like they used to. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's really sweet of you to let me stay in here. Thank you. Oh, yeah, anytime. Um, right, well, I'm going to let you get settled in. Uh, there are towels in the closet across the way, milk in the fridge, cereal in the pantry. Lots of it. Bryce loves cereal. <laughs> right, well, um, Good night. Oh, and Riley, I'm really glad you're here. Right, well, uh, good night. You already said that. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams.
Hey. You okay? Yeah, I just couldn't sleep. Do you mind if I... Uh, oh, yeah. Polly, I'm not finished. We can go inside when I'm done. All good things come with patience. Good boy. Hey, sleepyhead. I ran to the store. I hope you like packaged bagels and crappy coffee. Or tea, I don't know what you... I'll drink the other one. Oh, well you gotta get up. We got a big day ahead of us. We do. Mm-hmm. Okay, so today is all about seeing everything that Los Angeles has to offer from a tourist eyes. I can't believe five years here we never did this. Yeah, that's because you never wanted to go. Please stick around, I like it better when you're here. <laughs> Okay, we got a big list here, so where to first? That took a little getting used to. But it's cool, you know? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, you are a big movie star. Don't let it go to your head, all right? Okay, what was your favorite part? I mean, you know, besides the beach, of course. You know, seeing Steve Carell's house and wax figure in the same day kind of had to be mine. A little smaller than I thought, though. On both fronts, actually. Hey, yeah, you okay? Look, I'm sad that you're leaving, too, but, you know, we had an amazing week. Yeah, no, I, I know. It's not that, it's... Hey. Look, I just, I just don't know if this is going to work out. What? What do you, uh, where is this coming from? Well, I mean, I'm about to get on a plane to go back to New York in a few hours. And it took us ten months to get together out here. And who knows how long it'll take to get out here again. And you've got your whole big career and and all these great things happening for you, you don't need some girl across the country holding you down. It's, it's just not realistic. Hey, look at me. I don't care how far away that plane is taking you, and I don't care how long it takes to get you back. I really don't. We'll figure it out. Look, 
I care more about you than anything else in the world. And that includes some big acting career. See, I don't want to be that. I don't want to be the girl who's possibly holding you back from being the best you can be. But I don't see you that way. Right before I met you, I hadn't done anything as an actor. You'd done that Mr. Metzl's pretzels commercial. Well, yeah, besides that. <laughs> Look, if you were going to hold me back, it wouldn't happen by now. Okay, just because I kissed you on the beach doesn't mean that everything's suddenly going to change. I felt the same way since the day that I met you. We'll make this work. Okay, I'll visit you in New York and, and we'll write. But I'm not gonna lose you now. Okay? Okay? Okay. Hold on a second. What's this? Well, it's a box, Sailing. I found it this little place out in town. I figured you could use it to hold all, all the letters I sent you. Wow, I love it, Cody. Thank you. Just <laughs> promise me you'll never say something so stupid again, okay? <laughs> said that being on set was the closest thing you had to feeling like home. This kind of feels like that. such a hurry. I, um, I'm reading the story and I, I just take Polly out and I'm really excited to get back to it. Must be a really good story. I don't think I've ever seen you this excited to read anything. It is, Grandma. Love you. <laughs> and don't forget, come and get me when it's time, okay? Okay, I will. I promise. Riley, I miss you. I hope you're happy in New York. Things are going really great here. Things are good. Really busy, but it's all worth it. Ah, uh, yeah. What do I mean, Kathy? Riley, I can't believe you're doing theater. That's amazing. I know you'll be incredible. Oh, uh, big news. My movie got picked up for a sequel. Riley, it doesn't happen overnight. Don't worry about it. You will find the perfect part, and they will love you. Riley, that's incredible. I can't believe you booked that show. Of course I'll be there. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Right there, thank you.
Riley. Hey, babe. Brian, this is... Vic, Cody's manager. He just told me so much about you. And the show was great. Very, uh, cute. You make a great Dorothy. If they ever remake the movie, I'll know who to call. Hey, Vic, could you give... Hey, say no more, boss. I'll be outside. And, oh, really great. I loved every minute of it. So cute. Riley, you were amazing. Cody, do not try that with me. You weren't here. I was here for enough of it. Look, I saw the audience at the end. They loved you. Where were you, Cody? Look, I'm sorry. I got caught filming at this stupid talk show thing. I couldn't get away. I tried. Riley, I, I wish I could have been here for the whole show. I'm sorry. Hey, Cody, another talk show wants to call and confirm for next week? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Let me make it up to you. Happy birthday. My birthday's tomorrow. And if you think a rose is gonna make up for missing my first ever Broadway show? It's just the start. I have a surprise for you. And I think, in light of everything this year, you deserve two birthdays. Okay? Okay. But it better be the best surprise ever. It will be. I promise. Let me just go tell Vic that he has off for the night. I want you all to myself. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay, you can open them now. This is so sweet, Cody. I mean, I'd say you really didn't have to do all this, but you kind of have a lot to make up for. And how am I doing on that? You're getting there. You look positively beautiful. Wow. Thank you so much, Cody. I mean, you really know how to make a girl feel special. Oh. I'm not 21 yet. I know, but... I mean, I feel like tonight we can make an exception. We have so much to celebrate. I mean, you've got your Broadway show and your birthday. And I've got my whole movie franchise thing, so. <laughs> okay, tell me everything. I mean, is it everything you hoped it would be? That scarecrow guy, he seems sweet. Ah, I nailed it, I nailed it! And then the Wicked Witch like, almost fell off the tower because one of the flying monkeys ran into it. Oh my gosh. Oh, Toby. We're not in Kansas anymore. And then out. And then back in. I love you, Bradley Williams. Always. Always.
Fry. I am so, so proud of you and the woman you are becoming. I cannot wait to see what happens next in your life. I apologize for leaving without saying goodbye, but my agents called and they moved up the filming dates for the movie, so I had to be on the first flight out this morning back to Los Angeles. I truly wish I could have stayed and spent more time with you, but you know how it goes. I will be on set for the next few months, so I don't know how often I will be able to write you. But I will take every chance I can to call and see how you're doing. <laughs> Happy birthday. Always. Cody. Hey, sweetie. Do you have a moment? could really use an extra pair of hands making these cookies. Well, um, I was just getting to the good part of my story. The story will still be there when you get back. Come on. Pour it in. Woo! <laughs> and then we mix it. It's gonna be a lot of shit, Mom. Real good, real good, real good, real good. You're really into that story, huh? What kind of story is it? It's a love story. Really? You know, I always love a good love story. Does it end happy? I don't know yet. I haven't gotten there. But it has to, right? All love stories have a happy ending. Well, no. Not all love stories. But it's not always about how they end, you know. It's about the journey. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your help, my dear. You're welcome. I couldn't have done it without you. Let's see. Can I go back to my story now? Yes, you can go back to your story. Let me know how it ends. You betcha. Love you, Grandma. Love you, too. Hi, Cody. Um, I just wanted to talk. Um, it's been a couple weeks, so I uh, hope you're having a wonderful time on set. Um, miss you. <laughs> anyway, just uh, give me a call back if you can, okay? I love you. Okay, uh, bye. Riley, you ready? We're getting close. Hey. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, let's just be a little nervous, I guess. <laughs> what do you have to be nervous about? Everyone loves you out there. You're packing out the house. You've done this a hundred times now between rehearsals and shows, right? Yeah, you're right. You're going to do great. You always do. Okay, it's showtime. Let's go. Look, I know I messed up, but I can change. I can do better. I know you say that, Ben, but how can I trust you? You lied to me, Ben. How could you not tell me you were... a secret agent? I didn't have a choice. Everything I did, I did to protect you. The life that I live, it's dangerous, okay? I don't want you to have to be a part of it. I don't want to put you in danger. But don't you see? You can't protect me from everything, Ben. It doesn't work like that. If you love me, 
you let me decide whether I want to take that risk or not. Do you love me? More than anything. Then take me with you, Ben Pearson, and let's save the world together. That's the sexiest thing I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. Um, can we cut for a second? I'm, I'm sorry, I just need a second. Cut! That's a cut, everyone! Sorry. Stand by. That was looking great. Really fantastic. What happened? What's up? I just, uh, can I take a few minutes? I just need a quick break. Is that all right? Cody, we... Yeah. Sure, buddy. Anything you need. Thanks. All right, everybody, that's a five-minute break. You got a scene to finish. Yeah, okay, uh, I'll be there in a second. Oh, come on, please. Cody, please wake up. Great work, kid. Turned out beautiful. You had me scared there for a second, just being honest. But you pulled it out. See you tomorrow, okay? Get some rest. I will. Thanks, Ed. Have a good night. You too, buddy. Cody, man, great work today. Honestly, you had me swooning a little bit back there. <laughs> um, okay, look, I know it's a lot, but the guys at the studio are wanting you to do some press junkets with Haley next week to promote the movie. Can we make that work? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, don't have much of a choice, right? I know, I could count on you. All right, I'm gonna jet. Uh, before I go, just when you're in front of the press, just kind of play up the flirt factor a little bit. They love to see that. And uh, we gotta sell the chemistry, right? You good? You just, you seem kind of off. Oh, no, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I just, uh, long day. A little tired. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, get some rest. Can't have you burning out, right? <laughs> see you tomorrow, God. Night, babe. Hey, you. That was a heck of a scene today. <laughs> you almost had me falling for you for real. Well, thank you. <laughs> I was sorry about earlier. No, no, no. Say no more. I got it. I wouldn't want to kiss me either. No, I didn't mean that. I, uh... Oh, so you did want to kiss me? No, I j uh... <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's, um, there's just someone who means a lot to me, and I really wanted to talk with her, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Um, well... Where is she? New York. Oh, New, New York. Mm -hmm. Cody, that's a long ways away. Yeah. Oh. Good night, Cody. Yeah, hi, it's Briley Williams. Hey, Briley, what's going on? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it in today. Come down with something pretty bad, like a stomach bug. Oh, no, well, that's no good. Yeah, I'll keep you updated. Hopefully it's just one of those 24-hour things. Yeah, hopefully. I hope you feel better. Sorry about this. <laughs> no, no worries. Just rest up and get better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll try to get better quick, thanks. Yeah, of course. Well, let me know how you're doing, okay? Okay. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. Action! Hold! Can we get the stunt doubles in, please? <laughs> and action! Oh, well, there's Scott. 
don't stop on my account. <laughs> that was fun today, huh? So much better than some, like, stuffy romantic scene. Yeah, it was fun. Mm -hmm. I just wish they'd let me do my own stunts, you know? Mm -hmm. I think you could pull it off, don't you? I think you could pull off anything you wanted to. And no, I'm not talking about your shirt. Although I'm sure nobody would be complaining. <laughs> anyway, so a bunch of us were gonna go out for drinks tonight, and everyone was wondering if the great Cody McLean would be gracing us with his presence for once. I'm not much of a partier. Oh my gosh, come on! We don't bite. We'll take it easy on you, promise. First drinks on me. Okay, fine, I'll go. But let's not make it too late. You and I both have work tomorrow. You don't have to worry about me. I'll be just fine. See you in a bit. Hello, Miss Briley. How are you? Oh, what's going on with you today? I assume this isn't a social visit. No, ma'am, not today. Um, I have come down with, like, a stomach bug. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure it'll go away, but our theater director just wanted me to get checked out. You know, they want me back and working ASAP. <laughs> mm, I hear you. I know how hard they're working you over there. And the play is amazing, by the way. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God, my, my girls just adore you. <laughs> uh, most little girls want to be princesses, and not mine. They want to be Dorothy. Well, your daughters sound like my kind of girls. <laughs> Yeah, kids are funny, aren't they? It's incredible how you can love two little humans so much. Ah, but what am I saying? You're just a kid yourself. But someday when you have your own, you'll understand. All right, enough about me. Let's see what's going on with you. I need you to take a couple of deep breaths for me. Good, one more. Good. All right, now give me your biggest ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay. I see some signs of recent vomiting, but no other issues. Have you uh, eaten anything new recently? Anything that could have made you sick? No, nothing new. Okay. I haven't had much of an appetite lately, though. Okay, well, anything else? Have you been more tired than usual? I mean, I guess maybe a little bit. Um, everyone has been making fun of me for falling asleep in the makeup chair lately. <laughs> okay, Briley, when was your last period? Oh, I don't know. Um, maybe a couple weeks ago? This month has just been so crazy, everything's kind of blurred together. I'm not really sure. Okay. Well, since we can't quite seem to know the cause of the nausea, I'll prescribe some medication for you that will help with any symptoms and knock out any lingering bugs in there, okay? okay. Sounds good, Dr. King. Thank you. Right. But before I do that, Bradley, I do have to ask you, honey. Have you been sexually active recently? of your life. <laughs> I'm joking. You look miserable. Come on, look around. Isn't this fun to you? No, not really. I mean, I told you, this isn't really my thing. What? I said it's not my thing. Oh, come on. This is everyone's thing. You just gotta give it a chance. Hey, why are you up? Why are you so serious? What has got you thinking so hard? Oh, what? Is it New York girl? No. No, not nothing. I Look, I think I'm gonna go home. I I'm just really not feeling this. I'm sorry. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Just loosen up, okay? Stop thinking so much. Most of the people here weren't feeling it when they first came here either, but now look at them. Come dance with them. I don't know. What? I don't... I don't want to. Uh-uh, I wasn't asking. Come on.
you hear me? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, it's really late there. I'm surprised you're still up. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, everything's everything's great. Um, I was just calling to see how things were going. Things are really, really good, actually. Uh, it's just been so crazy busy here. I mean, filming's taken up my entire life, you know? Um, Look, I'm sorry I haven't been able to call much lately. It's just, it's been so crazy, you know? Yeah, no, it's okay. I, I mean, I get it. <laughs> I mean, everything's been crazy here, too, so. Busy. Sorry, Bri, what, what was that? Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. I was just, I was saying, I was. Hey. Back to the dance floor, stop, we're missing you. Cody? Give me a second, okay? Okay. Cody? Hey, Brian? Look, I, I gotta go. Um... Hey, I think we should just take some time. You know, I just I, I just need some time to figure out how to balance all this, okay? I I'll call you soon. Bye. Wait, Cody. Thank you for meeting me. I know we haven't talked much, but I kind of feel like you're my only friend out here, you know? Of course. I'm happy to. How are you? I mean, considering. Who the hell am I? I really don't know. I mean, it's just the strangest feeling. Honestly, it just doesn't even feel real. I mean, how do you comprehend that there's this little thing inside you and it's gonna grow to be a little boy girl and that's gonna grow up to be a man or a woman and have to be living in this world well that's a lot yeah sorry i just i've been kind of lost recently not really sure what to do about all this well, that's understandable i mean unless you're like planning for it i think most people feel that way yeah, I guess. Do your parents know? I'm sure they'd be a good support base and all this. Yeah, not so much. They kind of haven't been in touch since I started to pursue theater. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you don't mind me asking, but... What about the dad? Where's he in all this? Does he know yet? No. Um, I tried to tell him, but he knew. I just, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Do I know the guy? Don't tell me it's one of the flying monkeys. <laughs> no, 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 it's not one of the monkeys. <laughs> you haven't met him, I don't think, but you've probably heard of him. Just promise you won't tell anybody? Yeah, I promise. Okay, um... Cody McLean. Cody McLean? Like the freaking Cody McLean? The huge famous heartthrob actor Cody McLean? Yeah, that's the one. Oh my gosh, he's so. Uh, <sighs> sorry. I didn't mean to. It's okay. So, why haven't you told him? What's stopping you? Was it just like one night stand kind of thing? No, 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 no. It's nothing like that. Um... We'd actually been dating for a couple years. But, I mean, he's not gonna return my calls. He already told me that he wants to take a break and really focus on his career. Plus, I mean, I, I can't just, like, jump on a plane to Los Angeles. Why not? They have you blacked out on the schedule for the next couple of days. Why don't you go talk to him? This seems like one of those in-person things, anyway. See you later. Hey, you two. How are you? Oh! Hey, Mama. Good to see you. Good to see you, too, son. This is pretty cool. It's been a while since I've been on a set with you. This is a little bigger 
than I remember. <laughs> yeah, Mom, that's because Cody's a megastar now. Well, you're not wrong. Always humble, just like I raised you. Oh, guys, this is Haley. It's my co-star. Uh, Haley, this is my mom, Lana, and my sister, Bryce. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Cody has told me so much about you. Bryce, are you going to follow in your brother's footsteps and become a big actor too? Well, if Cody told you much about us, you know that I hate acting. I think most actresses I meet are vain and airheaded. Nice. I, I, no, it's, it's fine. She's right. Most of us are. But us airheads got to make a living somehow, right? Not all of us can be as gifted as you. Okay. Uh, do you guys want to go see my trailer? Yes, let's do that. Yeah, right there. All righty. Hope to see you around here again soon. It was nice to meet you, too. Yeah. I'll see you. <laughs> Sorry about her. She's not normally like that. It's fine. I'm used to that. Most girls don't like me. I think they feel threatened. Don't for the life of me know why. Okay. Oh, Mike. Oh. Ed told me about this place a couple weeks ago, and I just fell in love. I mean, the view and the food. Guys, oh man, uh, I just had to show you. It's beautiful, honey. We didn't have to go someplace so expensive. Oh, Mom, no, it's totally fine. Only the best for my girls. Yeah, Mom, let the big shot pay. I'm not complaining. Excuse me? I'd like your finest Shirley Temple, please. Make it a double. Right away. Thanks, champ. What? So, honey, tell us about filming. It seems like it's going really well. Oh, Mom, it's going amazing. I mean, everyone is so talented, and, and I really do, I think we're making a great project. Yes, the world is dying to see what happens to Ben Pearson's secret agent next. Is she going through that teen phase thing? I'm glad you're having a good time. You know, we don't get to hear from you as much now, and... Yeah, Mom, I'm sorry about that. It's just, you know, with everything so busy, I, I barely have time to think, you know? And what about Briley? How is our favorite theater star? Yeah, how is she, Cody? Have you talked to her about your lovely co-star yet? Uh, no, actually, I haven't. We, uh, we decided we need to focus on our careers right now. You know, with everything being so crazy. You know, you could only use that excuse so many times before it gets a little old, bro. It's too crazy to keep up with mom. It's too crazy to keep up with your sister. It's too crazy to keep up with the girl who you wouldn't shut up about marrying someday for two years. But it's not too crazy to go to another press appearance or to go out to the club with Miss Skanky Pants co-star. Bryce. I have social media, genius. Bryce, that's enough. <laughs> Whatever. Put it on his tab. I'm sure he can afford it. Thank you. I'm sorry about her. She's just missing her older brother. You know, she's right, though. It wouldn't hurt to call, check in every now and then. I better go check on her. She's probably not going to want to come back in, so. We'll just take a taxi back home. Okay. I love you, son. I love you too, Mom. And Cody, I know you may not be in a place to hear this right now, don't be so quick to push aside those who care about you the most in life, okay? And Briley, they don't make many like her. She is one of a kind. Don't forget that. I hate to see you throw that away. Call me. Soon. I will. Someone have a wild night last night? Is everything all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll, I'll be there in a few minutes. Okay. Uh, just remember the press is here today. You know, we had that uh, on-set visit, so we got to look alive, right? Put your game face on. And remember, chemistry. It sells. All right? You feel me? All right, champ. See you out there. Game face. Yeah. Game face.
Let me see the with this, too, honestly. This is a nice little combination you got going on. Hey, you ready to put on a show? What do you mean? Oh, you know, giving the fans what they want. Nothing too crazy. Thank you. Hey, little lady, how can I help you today? Hi, I'm, I'm here to see Cody McLean. My name's Riley Williams. I should be on the friends and family list. You have an ID? Okay, you know the drill. This is just a quick live broadcast from the studio. Showing the filming's going well, what we can expect from the movie, yada, yada, yada. Nothing new. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. They're on their way. You guys look great, by the way. Show time. He's right, you know. We do look great together. Yep. There you are, Riley Williams. You know how to get there? No. Stage two. Follow the line, you can't miss it. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome, thank you. Hello. Hi, we're on the set of Ben Pearson, The Shadow Files, and I have an exclusive interview with our two lead actors, Cody McLean and Haley Ryan. Some of the scenes have been leaked from the movie and they're very steamy, and I'm just wondering if any of that on-screen chemistry is carrying over off-screen, if you know what I mean? Um, uh, okay, well, I, I'm really glad you asked this question. I know it's been hard for us to keep it quiet. Hey, Riley, right? How you doing? Oh, hi, yeah, um, I'm okay. We're kind of a thing now. <laughs> I mean, it's so hard not to be when you have such a strong chemistry, you know? I just need to talk with Cody. Is he around? No, actually, he's super busy right now. Um, I could take a message if you want. He's probably going to be a while. That's okay. Can you just... We practically can't keep our hands off of each other. <laughs> Can you just um, give this to him for me, please? please? Yeah, no problem. Oh, you guys, it's so exciting. I'm so happy for you, and I'm sure your fans are so excited to know this, and you guys heard it here first. Okay. See you later. Emerson, honey, it's almost time to go. Are you ready? Oh, sweetie, what's wrong? I don't think this story is going to have a happy ending, Grandma. It's too sad. Oh, honey. <sighs> Come here. Now remember what I said, dear. Not all love stories have a happy ending. But it's not about how they end, right? It's about... Wait. What was it again? The journey, Grandma. That's right, the journey. Tell you what, how about I sit here with you and we can read it together until it's time to go. Will that help make it a little less sad? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, let's see, where did you leave off? This one. Briley, forgive me for making this brief. What was that? We're not, we're not dating. Why did you say that? Cody, shh, chill out. Of course I know we're not dating, but they wanted us to put on a show, give something that the fans could latch onto. I don't understand what the big deal is. Faye, come on, man, this is crazy. I mean, I think it's a good idea. The press loves this kind of stuff, and I say we roll with it. Yeah, okay, just until the movie releases, and then we could have like some big tabloid breakup story. No big deal. No big deal? It's a lie. We're lying. Cody, we're actors. It's what we do. We act. It's going to bring so much attention to our movie. What? You don't want people to think that we're together? I'm, I'm not saying that. But we're not together. What am I supposed to tell my family? You don't have to tell them anything. Nothing. Zip. Look, all we have to do is go to a few parties, get photographed together in public a few times just to give the press something to talk about, you know, like keep us relevant. That's all. Do you think you can manage that? Come on, Cody. Look, I know it's a little out there, but this is really good for your career. 
Trust me. Besides, that girl from New York's out of the picture, right? What's her name? Riley. Right, so there's no downside here. Fine, I'll do it, whatever. But just don't, don't pull anything like that again without talking to me first, okay? You got it, stud. Hey, lighten up. It could be fun if you let it. Mm. She's crazy. She's an actress. What do you expect? You have to be a little crazy if you want to be an actor. You're crazy, too. Anyway, this is what you signed up for, right? Ride this out, and I promise you, you will not regret it. See you out there? Your star, Cody McLean. saw their steamy scenes from the set of their new movie, but apparently these two are fire off screen as well. I wonder what their celebrity name will be. Kaylee, Hody, I don't know if those work at all. Celebrity name will be Kaylee, Hody, but I guess we'll find out. What did the big chimney say to the little chimney? What? <laughs> what? You're too young to smoke. <laughs> so punch at me. Yeah. I'm gonna block. Okay. And then you're gonna come quick and jab. There you go. Yeah, okay, exactly. Good, cool. All right, do that again. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you came. Uh -huh. Thanks for fitting me in today, Dr. King. Ah, uh, anything for you, Dorothy. <laughs> so I heard the news. It wasn't a stomach bug after all, was it? No. No, it wasn't. And are we excited? Scared? Nervous? All of the above? <laughs> Good. That means you're normal. Any other bad symptoms? Has the morning sickness gotten any worse since the last time I saw you? Um... No, I mean, I've had it come and go, but overall it's okay. I'm getting used to it. I have had the strangest cravings, though. I mean, I have never thought about dipping a cheeseburger into a chocolate shake before a couple days ago. <laughs> I remember that. Now, Riley, I am required to discuss all of your options with you. You are young and healthy, and we don't expect any complications, but... Are you considering the possibility of terminating? Dr. King, I know you're supposed to go over all of that stuff with me, but I just can't think about that right now. Okay, I just, just want to make you aware of all your options. And uh, will the father be a part of the process? No. No, he won't. Okay. Would you like to see an ultrasound of the baby? No. That's okay. Okay. Well, feel free to call me with any questions, okay? See you soon. a moment? Thank you. Hi, Lynn. I'm, I'm sorry I'm a few minutes late. I will get ready fast, I promise. Uh, Briley, we need to talk. If this is about me getting sick a lot lately, I, I'm totally fine. I won't be getting anyone else here sick, I, I'm sure of it. Briley, why were you late today? 
I had a doctor's checkup. I just wanted to make sure I got the all clear. And I did, so. Well, your doctor called the theater company earlier today. They wanted to confirm the insurance for your appointment. I... Briley, I don't know what to tell you. The producers just don't want to take a chance on you having complications because of the pregnancy. But how can they do that? I mean, I, I, I'll still be able to perform for a few months before anything changes. And isn't Broadway starting to offer maternity leave anyway? Well, some companies are starting to offer maternity leave for their actresses, but ours isn't one of them. I'm sorry, Briley. I wish that there was more I could do, but this one is just out of my hands. Lynn, there has to be something I can do. I mean, this isn't right. Honey, I know this is hard to do, but have you considered giving up the baby? I mean, after all, you're still a teenager, and you have such a bright future ahead of you. I'm not telling you what you should do. I'm just saying that it's an option. I'll tell the producers to hold off on their decision while you think about it, okay? Okay. I'll let you know. Briley, I wish this weren't the case. I really do, but I just don't see another option for you. I'll try and buy as much time with the producers as I can, okay? I don't know how it all got so screwed up. It's like I only saw one path in front of me and I kept walking on it and it led me further and further away from who I am. And now, now I'm stuck. There's no way out. Literally an entire production is riding on my shoulders and, and I have to play pretend with my real life to pull it all off. What am I supposed to do? Well, sweetie, I don't have an easy answer for you. This is what you wanted, isn't it? A career as an actor? Yeah. Yeah, it was. I just didn't see it going like this, you know? Life rarely ever goes just how we picture it, son. I just, I don't think I know what I want anymore. For so long, I wanted this career as an actor, and now I have it, and, and I'm just... Not happy? Why don't you call her? No, oh, Mom, she doesn't want to hear from me now. I, I treated her terribly. I wouldn't be surprised if she never wanted to hear from me again. I can't even imagine being in her position. Seeing everything in the press, I'd, I'd be so angry. Well, yeah, you're right. And she has every right to be angry with you. But she loved you. And you loved her. You owe it to her to at least call. Yeah. You're right. I'm just scared. I don't want her to hate me. Cody, she may. But you're better off knowing if you ask me. Yeah. I'll talk to you soon, okay? sad story. Yes, sweetheart. I had forgotten just how sad it was. Grandma, you've read this story before? Oh, yes, dear. Do you know how old I am? I have read a lot of stories. How does it end, Grandma? Please tell me it gets better. Well, now, sweetie, I couldn't tell you that even if I wanted to. That would spoil the journey. And it's... Yes, it's... Grandma. Get it. It's all about the journey. But you got to give me something. I mean, this is tragic. Where's the silver lining? Where's the light at the end of the tunnel? I mean, what if it just keeps getting worse? <laughs> well, child, I can't promise you that it won't. But keep reading. You'll reach the end of the story, and then you can decide for yourself. 
if it has a happy ending. Now, come on. We gotta go. Dude, I cannot wait to see this movie. The first one was so dope. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm pretty excited about it. Dude, you're so lucky. I'd give anything to be in your shoes. I mean, Haley Ryan, she's pretty great. Pretty great? She's the hottest girl alive. I could just have five minutes with her. Yeah, that's great. Uh, could you guys excuse me for a second? I just gotta take care of something. Thanks. Oh, hey, big guy, where you going? We're gonna do the toast by the pool in five, is that all right? Yeah, yeah, I'll be back. I just need a minute. Whatever you say. And there goes my baton. Hey, Al. I saw you come in here. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just, uh, I had to get away from the crowd for a second. I'm fine. I totally get that. Um, I can only be in a big crowd for so long until I need a little... privacy. <laughs> um, on the bright side, we're almost done with this whole charade, hmm. right? Although I have to admit, it's been pretty fun for me. Not every day you get to play pretend in real life, you know? You know, it doesn't have to be pretend. It's obvious there's a spark between us. I know when you kissed me in those scenes, you wished it was real. I felt that. All you have to do is say the word, and I'm yours. Do you want me, Cody McLean? Stop. Whoa. What is this? Excuse me? Hello? Shut up. There he is, man of the hour. What is this? Why do you have this? I can explain. Yeah? It better be a damn good explanation. Look, she came by the studio and wanted to give this to you, and I told her you were busy. What she were? She came in here, and you didn't tell me. Something like this right now could ruin your career. I am just looking out for you. What did you tell her? Okay, look, I took care of it. You're welcome. Vic, what did you do? Okay, I gave her some money. And I told her to, you know. Who do you think you are? Listen to me, you little prick. You would have none of this. If it wasn't for me, everything you have is because of me. Where are you going? It's gonna leave and throw this away because of some girl? There soon, child. Calm yourself. Riley Williams? Have you seen Riley Williams? You're Cody Mays. Yes, yes, Cody McLean. Hi. Have you seen Riley Williams? Uh, yeah, but Cody, she's she's at the hospital right now. Which hospital? We're here. Yay! Excuse me, uh, which room is Bradley Williams in? I'm sorry, sir. I can't give you that information. Sir! No, you can't go back there, sir! Am I too late? No, honey, for the first time in your life, you're on time. Just hold my hand, please. Keep breathing. Breathe. We have a head.
your new baby brother? Hey, thanks for taking care of her for us. Oh, she was an angel. <laughs> oh, you two sure do make beautiful babies. <laughs> yeah, well, good genes. Hey, sorry I'm late. Traffic was a mother. Hey, Bryce, how you doing? <laughs> As a little guy. He's a little stud, just like his dad. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, we need to get some more tests done. I think you are going to be the best big sister ever. What do you have here, Emerson? It's a love story I'm reading. I don't know how it ends yet. No. Well, do you mind if we read it with you? Sure. Briley, I... Excuse me, sir? Cody? Briley. It's okay. What's that? It's, um... What's well, a letter? I was trying to figure out what I would say, and, and I didn't even know if I could get it all out, so I, um, I wrote you a letter. Briley, I am so sorry. I, I didn't know. Too early to tell, but would you guys like to take a look? Okay. Ready? Okay, so right here, that is the head. There's a little bright light right there. You see that? Looks like a railroad track. That's the spine. And a little flicker right there, that's the heart. I love you. Always. Always. Do you have any vibes? Yes, I do. Yeah. 